I'm curious about uh, your congregation, charismatic topics in general. There really isn't much on the website. Okay. Okay, what about uh, slain in the spirit? What about the charismatics? Charismatic movement was really a real big movement at one time. The charismatic is about using the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now, the early church was charismatic, meaning that they didn't do anything that the Holy Spirit came upon them. I think you can't do anything without the Holy Spirit. Now, with the charisms, they have, you know, the gift of prophecy and speaking in tongues and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, but those things, the greatest of gifts is the love, is what, you know, pray for all these things. After he talks about all these gifts, he says, but pray for the greatest of gifts, which is the gift of love, which is also a charismatic gift, but not just the theological virtues. But the charismatic gifts, like I've been involved in the charismatics for a long time. I was baptized in the Spirit when I was 17 years old. No, no, I'm sorry, about 19 years, excuse me, 19 or 20 years old when I was in college seminary. And they invited me to this uh, life in the Spirit. I'll never forget the, the, who's a priest now. He says, Larry, they're having a life in the Spirit where you learn about how to grow in the Spirit and surrender your life to the Spirit of the living God. And he said, you want to go? And I said, oh, no, thank you. Um, that's not my prayer style, you know, because I do a whole year and I've, I've done it for all these years. And he goes, oh, I thought you were going to get ordained for all the people of God, not just your prayer style. <laughs> Miserable human being. So I said, okay, I'll go. So I went, and I was so impressed. What most impressed me is here is lay people that were taking holiness seriously, that they knew they had to be holy. And that was very attractive to me because I always thought, you know, a lot of people just go through the motions of going to church on Sunday. They're trying to do the least amount they can do so they can go to heaven. You know, what is the least amount I can do? Instead of taking holiness, daily prayer life, and living by the power of the Holy Spirit every day. And so I was there and I got baptized. And the baptizing the Spirit is a release of the Holy Spirit. It's when the earliest... Uh, uh, things in the church was they would lay hands on people and and they would give the holy spirit in a powerful way now it's a release of the spirit you were given at baptism a release of the spirit you're giving a confirmation and so what the charismatics would do is they pray in um in more energetic ways now some people are very judgmental about that nah, 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 nah. well again it's in the scriptures what do you want you want to judge the scriptures you go ahead but i have i've speak in tongues and i have prayed in tongues and of course there's three different kinds of tongues though there's a tongue of praise which you would have when you're just praying and uh, and you can look at all this stuff up and there's a t prayer uh, tongue of prophecy that does it when a charismatic uh, prayer, prayer group goes and someone has a tongue and then there's an interpretation of that tongue there and there's the thing of evangelization of uh, tongue and that is like when the apostles start speaking after the pentecost and everybody start hearing them in their own language so again don't ever limit the spirit of the living god surrender and let the spirit of the living god take control of you because when the spirit of the living god has control of you then god has full control so never again limit god and say this is the way and only the way god works God is bigger than you, he's bigger than me, and you got to let him be, and you got to let him take control. Again, as I talked about when I prayed today, people always ask me when I'm doing a mission or anything, Father, where do you get your energy? Because I have some energy. But where's it come from? And I always say, the Spirit of the living God sets me on fire, and people come to watch me burn. Because every time before I speak, I ask the Holy Spirit to set me on fire, ask the Holy Spirit to take control of my life, to speak through me. This morning when I got up, and I went before Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. I said, speak through me today, Lord. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. And he does. If you ask him, he will not say no. Remember again, Jesus talked about how much more will your heavenly father give you the spirit who asks for him. So ask for the Holy Spirit. That's why I have people and I do missions like tonight when I'll finish my mission, which has only been... 78 people, 74 people, and 70 people. <laughs> but anyway, we have, and we have hundreds of these cards that we give out that have uh, on the back the Cardinal Mercier's prayer of surrender to the Holy Spirit. And I tell them, you pray this prayer every day of your life, and you watch what God will do. Okay? So hopefully that's a, a primer of any way to get you started here.